Hello all, in this video we will see how to enable real-time clock in DWIN displays. Only certain models have this facility. Here we have 4.3 inch with shell model, most economical and most fast moving model. This has got a 8 pin uh, 2mm socket for uh, serial communication and as well as power. If you open the back seat cover, you can see uh, RTC cell holder. If you see this cell holder, then it means it is RTC enabled. Only certain models have this. And we'll be using SD card uh, method to download the files. At the right hand side, you can see the uh, 8 pin connector, 2mm pitch connector for uh, power source and serial communication, RS232 enabled. And it has also got RS485. And it is supplied with the uh, 8 pin connector. We have soldered a uh, D pin and uh, DC for uh, uh, sending hex codes. Now let us place the 2032 battery cell. Uh, this uh, placing of battery cell is uh, uh, very crucial. There are two clips one long clip and uh, two short clips. Place the battery like this so that the long clip is pressed and uh, the top clip holds the battery. If battery is not fixed properly, then RTC will not work. Now plug in the 8 pin so socket and then the power. Now the default uh, uh, program is running. Close the back uh, lid. Now we'll start the uh, design using DGUS software. Open the DGUS software, click on new and select the resolution. Our resolution is 480 by 272 and select the location of the folder and click on plus and add the uh, background image which is of uh, same resolution as uh, the model 480 by 272 and then open the DGS serial port and uh, click on I seal tool select the image we have downloaded and then click on ICL tool generate ICL and we have to store it as 23. ICL as this model has only 8 megabytes of NOR flash, it is 23. ICL, otherwise, it is 32. ICL. And then go to CFG edit and uh, change the ICL address to 23. So, this is also very important. By default, it is 32, change it to 30, uh, 23, and border rate is default 115200. And then click on new CFG and store it as t5lcfg dot cfg no other naming is allowed under the dwin underscore set folder of your project now we have stored uh, 23 dot uh, icl as well as the uh, t uh, configuration file both the files next we have to copy the font file which is the dot hzk file we have to copy this file and paste it inside the dwin underscore set folder Next, go to text to show and then click on RTC display and place it on the background image. Uh, this uh, RTC display, you can change the uh, color of the RTC display and then the font size and the date format. Uh, let us delete the week at the uh, end. You can select the date format you want and finally save this and then generate. Now the project is uh, generated. Next, to display the RTC, we have to import one OS file from the official website. Hmm. Now let us uh, go to the official website and go to the download section and kernel upgrade. You have to select this file that is a TFL underscore OS version 22 ST2058 RTC model. There are some other models also, uh, but uh, you have to download this 2058 version only, which is the dot bin file. Download this and copy the bin file and paste it under the dwin underscore set folder. Without this file, the RTC clock will not be enabled. And now the dwin underscore set file is ready. Copy this folder and paste it onto the SD card folder. We have to download it only through SD card method. Plug in the SD card uh, to the uh, display and then provide the DC supply. You can see the blue screen of uh, downloading files. You can see the details. First the CFG file is uh, downloaded, then the OS file 
after that the zk file and the project file all the files are downloaded now remove the power remove the sd card and then uh, provide the supply back now you can see the rtc display but the clock is not correct we have to set the clock to the current time for this uh, we are using this uh, rs232 to usb cable plug in the rs232 to usb to the uh, display and then the usb to pc we have to download on uh, uh, serial monitor uh, uh, tool which is sscom it can be downloaded from the official website sscom and check out the uh, development guide go to the rtc section here the details of the hex code is given here in this video we are using the hex code method and this is the hex code to be sent the 5a a5 is the header after that is the 0b which is the total number of bytes that follows next hex command is 0x82 which is for a write command and then 2 bytes 009c which is the system variable address this you cannot change this is fixed 009c is the starting uh, variable address for rtc clock 009c after that uh, again 5a a5 uh, for uh, starting of the rtc clock and then year month day hour minute second all in hex you cannot uh, feed it in decimal it is in hex so copy this uh, uh, hex array and paste it in notepad phi a a5 uh, after this phi a a5 you have to enter the year in month so 2024 24 in hex is 1b and then month is 0 5 it is same in 0 5 in hex and after that day uh, here it is 29 date and uh, in hex it is uh, 1d and after that you have to enter the hour minute and seconds you uh, feed the current your current timing in all in hex so this is the hex array we'll be sending through sscom so open the hex sscom serial uh, uh, tool and then select the com port of your rs232 to usb and border is 115200 uh, click on open com and uh, do not forget to enable the send hex and then copy the hex array we have created in the notepad starting with 5a a5 and then paste it under the uh, sscom now click on the send button the hex array is sent to the device and you can see the RTC clock has changed to the current uh, timing as per the date format the date is displayed after that the uh, hour minute and second now remove the power wait for some time and then provide the power back now you can see the clock is restored so it is stored in the RTC memory which uh, uh, which is the address is 009c so it is uh, of, uh, flash memory it is stored there and a retrieve thank you for watching